So we have a tooth, a two-rooted tooth, two-rooted mandibular tooth that we want to section. Now we want to make sure that we follow the the direction of the furcation and that we do make our, our, our penetration all the way through to the furcation so that the mesial and distal roots are completely separated. It's I working end of the instrument is simply the beak and your do is is hold the the handles firmly and rotate the wrist to create tension onto the lingual aspect of the root structure. This will create a physiologic effect breaking down the periodontal ligament. When you break down the periodontal ligament, the tooth will then come up and out of the socket. So let's simply take the beak and engage the lingual surface of the root, place the bumper as far down the vestibule as possible. I'm not squeezing the handles whatsoever. I'm holding them and then creating tension onto the lingual aspect of that tooth. The bumper is simply a fulcrum. You can see I could, I was barely holding it. I'm rotating my wrist towards the shoulder and in a minute or so, the tooth you'll see will start to disengage and will start to come up and out of the socket. We want to make sure that we have stability and you can see in a matter of a couple minutes the tooth will start, the root structure will start to come up and out of the socket. The instrument is not intended to remove the tooth in total, rather it's intended to luxate it one to three millimeters. So as you can see, following extraction, there's granulation tissue on the mesial aspect of the tooth where the fracture line was. This is not bone. And the tooth is removed atraumatically, maintaining the facial bone very, very nicely. An atraumatic extraction for the patient, an atraumatic extraction for the facial bone. <laughs>